एवरीवन वेलकम और वेलकम बैक टू अनादर वीडियो माय नेम इज चॉको ब्लब एंड दिस इज ब्लब्स आर्ट क्लब इफ यू आर न्यू यू माइट कंसीडर स्टेइंग हियर फॉर अ वाइल बिकॉज वी स्पेंड अमेजिंग एंड क्रिएटिव टाइम हियर एंड इफ यू आर ऑलरेडी अ पार्ट ऑफ द क्लब देन थैंक यू सो मच मे गॉड ब्लेस यू आई एम सो ऑनर्ड टू हैव यू हियर अगेन So today I am drawing one of my brand new OCs. Unfortunately, I haven't decided a name for him yet, but I have been planning and working on his design for quite a some time now. So I would really like you guys if you suggest some names from for him. Uh let me introduce you to you for a bit so it will be easy for you to like come up with names. I am having him as a K-pop idol. Uh he is 22 years or 23 years old probably. And uh he is Korean in ethnicity. And uh what else? Uh he have red hair and yellow eyes. You probably saw that from the thumbnail already. But yeah, today I am just going through a kind of a finish portrait of him. This is the first ever finish portrait. So yeah uh, I'm not really sure like what outfit to give him because uh, you know as K-pop idols there are a variety of outfits that they usually wear in terms of concerts and performing like fan meetings practice studios there are a lot of stuff so I'm really excited to work with him and draw him even more So in terms of posing I really wanted to start nice and slow with the basic mic holding pose. We see a lot of idol photos that they do that very often because of their heavy choreographies. They have to hold their mic in front of their mouth so we can hear him loud and clear. So this is a very common pose and often seen in idols so I chose this for the first finish portrait. So we can go up to complicated poses later on once I start mastering the poses. So yeah, of course, I am not really good also at drawing different complicated dynamic dance poses. I'm definitely working on that. So that's it and then uh if we talk about what is going on right now a bit, then let me tell you. You might see me not performing the sketch in front of the camera don't worry i will put the entire time lapse version in the end of the video at the absolute last so you can see how does it look from absolute start to finish like from the scratch to the end result but i don't actually sketch in camera because uh, how do i explain this um in my setup it kind of gets uncomfortable and i have to sit back and draw and place my tablet on the on the table where i film usually or my desk so what happens is the due to the change of perspective the ratios kind of gets janked up and it kind of gets messy like uh, the faces gets kind of squished or the eyes are not placed properly so it gets really uncomfortable for me and uh, that's why also i am one of those artists who are kind of camera shy so if i have a base already planned out and i know what i'm doing so then it's fine but on camera planning out an art and doing all that stuff kind of makes me anxious So that's why temporarily I'm skipping the sketching part but if you're interested you can always check that at the end of the video where I'm putting the time lapse. So that's why I don't do the sketch portion on the camera. Also about the line art, the line art portion is kind of boring to see like you literally know the sketch and I'm just replenishing the lines, covering up and that's kind of boring I guess and This is the least favorite portion for most of the artists including me of course. So I just skip that part so you guys can get to the real fun stuff which is coloring. So coloring the process usually remains the same. Oh by the way, if you guys want me to make a video on how do I color the skin, 
then do let me know in the comment section below that you if you want so i can make a video about it again please suggest a name for him i am really confused on what to do while drawing the hair there was a lot of thought or the lot of stuff that was going on let me come to you one at a time so first of all red hair this is the first time i'm drawing red hair any character at all i have never done any animes or whatsoever so i was kind of confused how to place the shadows and what warmth or the cool tone shadows should be there so in between i was looking for some references in pinterest on how different artists approach the red hair the final point or the final result of the hair pole part particularly now i'm looking back at it i think it could be better there was a lot of stuff that could have been fixed that is totally blameable to my laziness i was literally getting so impatient i just wanted to finish it that's why i left out the hair but i'm still not really mad about it uh, it is kind of in a so-so situation where i'm like mm, okay okay we're working with something at least so this is uh, what the condition second of all uh, wherever i'm drawing this type of idols usually they're on stage right but where he's like holding the mic so stages have different types of lightings around him like really complicated lighting situations from different angles different colors and i was really overthinking everything rather than just simply doing what i know so that was kind of the issue that i was facing so how to in terms of how to place the shadows and where the highlights should be so this is one of the things that i kind of struggled with is except the fact that this is the first time of me doing red hair also i have a confession to make so in my previous sketch with me video i said that i was kind of feeling unmotivated to go ahead and draw in my tablet and i will probably stick to traditional art for quite a bit now but you know as a digital artist this is like my thing more rather than doing traditional arts don't get me wrong i love traditional art this is what has started got me started as an artist but as a digital artist who does mostly on um, draws on tablets and screens so this is something that is my thing i just cannot stay away from it but suddenly i had the urge to draw the new character that i've been designing or wanting to design for a really long time and here we have here we go we have our like new character with literally no names and just a few speak of information but yeah i will definitely i am open to suggestions of new and exciting names the names doesn't have to be like korean for the matter it can be english names as well as uh, as if the stage names we know a lot of idols do have english stage names so feel free to suggest them as well you don't have to like set a boundaries on the korean names okay so let me talk about the process for a little bit so if if you follow me for a while you know that i kind of avoid to some extent drawing the backgrounds because i ha don't have much good concept about it definitely working on that but still kind of suck not to that extent so i can add the backgrounds of the pictures of myself so what i did here i just looked up for some stage background images in the pinterest to add some uh, i know some of you might call this cheating but i really can't help it uh, i'm not up to that position yet so i added a background and now i'm just drawing the clothes i thought uh, with red hair um, black is the color that makes a really bold move so we are up for that let me do the clothes folds and the nudges that it gets when a man wears it so yeah also drawing clothes is one of the fun portion of me you know, drawing anything like literally i enjoy drawing clothes so much because that kind of brings out the life of the character 
so I'm not uh, like uh, adjusting anything to be the material side like what type of material he's wearing I really need to work on that but it's just overall black like white neck t-shirt I think that you what you call it white neck because you can see his really well structured neck and uh, collarbones and I have gave him like a choker I will add the designs to the choker for sure because I'm not leaving it that simple but let's see what we can work with I am currently open for the redrawing session or the redrawing contest you can send me your OCs in my Instagram DMs the Instagram link will be down below in the description box for you you can send me your D, uh, you can DM me your OCs so I can redraw them in my own style provided it can be in a chibi version or in an anime version like which one I think I am capable enough to do so yeah feel free to send me your chibis you want, if you want them to get like recreated by me so yeah I'm really patiently and eagerly waiting for you to send me your chibis or OCs I'm so sorry OCs or original characters so here I am adding some details to the collar thingy or the choker I was really uh, excited when I started the piece and I was like you know what I'm going to give the hundred percent that I have in this piece but as always at this point i was starting to get really really consumed by the amount of time it was taking and it was around 2 a.m when i'm filming this so my back kind of saying me like it's time to go to bed and i could barely keep my eyes open so i wanted to finish things really quick though i looked up for really good choker references but they were all like either overly complicated or I had, didn't have a good option to do that so I decided to just hang on some chains around it you'll see in a bit so now I'm adding the lightning effect of the stage or the performance because of course the pose is that he is in the middle of a performance so there should be lightings and bubbles and confettis around him so let's add that uh, before adding something to the choker so at the beginning I decided that it, I will leave it like that so you can literally see his structure but it was like way too plain to become his an outfit uh, with because there's his t-shirts is already pretty simple and if the choker doesn't get the attention what's going to get so I'm adding just a little bit of light effects here and there using the fade pen I guess if you guys are interested in the brushes or what type of brushes that I use because I get this question a lot of the time I already have a video about it so do check them out um, it's if you just scroll, scroll down for a couple of videos you'll see it's there like the updated brush videos my brushes uh, are pretty stable but if I find something interesting I might switch up and try new and I highly suggest that you guys do that too. Don't get stuck using the same things over and over again. It kind of stops your growth as an artist. So yeah, uh, you can check that out if you're interested. So here I am like choosing a metallic color and a chain brush. I usually don't use this type of chained brushes or the stamps or ready-made brushes. I do this by hand. But as I told you guys, I was kind of getting lazy at this point. So I added the chains, added the shadows on his skin to make it more realistic. And I think it's kind of okay-ish to some extent. It's not really that bad. I forgot to add his earrings. So let me go ahead and do that. The chain type of basic earrings that every idol have wore like once or twice in their idol life. <laughs> so yeah, very basic of course his design is going to get improved and evolved a lot in the future but this is what I can do for now I'm taking kind of classes and watching other other artists really closely so I can you know, like get their advices and improve myself as an artist so hopefully there are better arts coming so yeah we are kindly almost at the end of the video I can't believe like 
this is one of the longer sides of video i usually don't film that long or the post the video that long but this is kind of a scary yet exciting so i hope you guys enjoyed a really chatty rambly drawing session with me if you guys took out your pen and paper or a tablet whatever you prefer to draw with and enjoyed or sketched something with me i'm really really grateful to have you but if not if you just enjoyed the video as it's video as it is then also thank you again subscribe if you haven't already and yeah uh, i will see you guys in my next video until then you can check out my tutorials there are our tutorials in my channel if in case you don't know so you can check that out and yeah uh, share with your friends and families leave a comment below anything that you want and i'll probably see you guys in the next video till now stay healthy take care of yourself and bye bye